Ike Young. It just makes since I was probably 18. 자, 지하철역에서 37년간 노래를 하면서 살아온 무명 가수 마이크 아저씨. 음향 시설이 좋지 않은 곳에서 노래를 해서 그런지 아가테 심사위원 멜비가 은근히 개무시를 합니다. 이 상황을 여러분이 보시고 한번 판단을 해 보시죠. 먼저 자작곡으로 하루 만에 200만 조회수를 터뜨린 싱어송라이터 스테파니. 200만 조회수가 터진 이유는 과연 무엇일까요? 함께 시험 가겠습니다. Let's go. 자, 첫 번째 에피소드. Good evening. Hello. How are you? A little nervous, but also very nervous. What is your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Stephanie Rainey. How old are you? I'm 36. I'm guessing you're going to sing for us tonight? I am. And for how long you've been doing this? Oh, since I was probably 18. Is this your first time like, attempting to be in a competition like AGT? Yeah, I've had a very kind of roller coaster career, I would say. The song that I'm going to play for you today um, has had quite a big moment in the past. And we made it in just a tiny room. and put it up one Monday morning, and it just, by the end of the day, it had a million views. What? Wow. And then I signed a deal after the song came out. I think I probably didn't fully know who I was back when I signed that deal. The journey from then until now has been hard. It's a tough industry, you know? Yeah. You have to be resilient, and I think sometimes when the downs come, you have to be willing to kind of pick yourself back yeah, up. And yeah. um, so, here I am. So the song is called? It's called Please Don't Go. I wrote it about losing my nephew. When I was a teenager, he was about to turn one. It was the day before his first birthday and he passed away. Oh, sorry. And it took me a long time to write a song about it. Honestly, I was about to give up music. So I was like, I want to make something for me that I believe in. So this song means more to me than I can actually like, even describe. Good for you for doing that and not giving up. I do know how difficult the music business is. There's so many great people who are giving up. And that's why a platform like this is still really, really important. Absolutely. And who do you play with? Uh, my best friend, uh, Sarah, she's here with me today. And uh, she's been on every single step of this journey with me from the very beginning. OK, well, look, we're rooting for you. Thank you. Let's <laughs> start. <laughs> 자, 스테파니의 자작곡 제발 떠나지 마. I hold your hand till it goes cold. I hold my tears until you go. With all the life that leaves you bold. Soaks the purpose from my own. Oh, please don't go. I've kept my own side of the bed.
와우. 자, 역시 진심을 다할 때 빛이 나는 것 같습니다. 자, 어떤 심사평을 받을지. was such a beautiful, heartfelt song. You can tell what you went through. It was very simple and perfect. Very few acts move people, and that was one of the most relatable, emotional moments we've had on season 19. So thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Your voice sounded amazing on this stage. It was just a real special moment. Well done. Of all the new songs I've heard, this year. This is the best by a mile. And even though it's about something really sad, it's real. And your voice is beautiful. A lot of people are going to resonate with that song and you. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. Stephanie, I'm going to give you your first yes. I'm also going to give you a yes. Yes, I think I'm going to give you about 4,000 wow. yeses. That was what I call a moment. That song is so beautiful. Thank you so much for coming over. Simon is a very nice person. Mike Young. And how old are you? I'm 50 some. Okay. What do you do for a living? I've been singing in the subway for roughly 37 years. 37? That's, that's a good thing. If you don't mind me asking this question, tell me what was the low point? The low point is on a Monday or a Tuesday, you don't make that much. But people get paid on Thursday and Friday, and they make up for it. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. Tell me why you decided to end America's Got Talent. Well, you know, success is what you make it, right? But there's no better stage, there's no better place to be than right here. You know? That's a nice thing to say. Okay, well, good luck. So, Mike Ajaxi's song is a melody. it sounded a little bit rough around the edges but I didn't mind it because I can feel that really every word that you sang really meant something you know and I think that is also very very important thank you oh my god I, I gotta I gotta say whatever Heidi is referring to is the roughness is what I love that enveloped me you know you made every word so simple, so count. If this show can give you the next level of fame, I'm telling you, the train has left the building. You are on the next level. Well, I'm gonna be honest, look, you do have a great, incredible voice. Having said that, 
there is a difference in somebody singing on the subway to somebody singing on the stage of America's Got Talent. There is that gap that you have to bridge. I just don't think you're quite there. If you understand what I mean. You know what's ironic here, Mike? I was listening to something that Mel was playing during the break, which was a piece of auto-tuned junk. And this is the real deal. Yeah. yeah! No machines. This is 40 years of actually going out there. It just makes me remember, you know, what great singers can be. And this is what this is all about. And I wouldn't change a thing. I'm going to kick this off, actually, with your first yes, Howie. Oh, yes. Yes! I get what everybody else is saying. I think that you are extremely talented, but I do think you're not quite there for me. Let's maybe just put it that way. So I'm going to say no. One no, two yeses. Your fate is in the hand of Heidi Klum. Well... Well, I mean, if I'm honest, totally honest, I am a little bit on the fence, and I do agree a little bit with Mel. Really? I don't know. I. You know what? I would like to see you again. I'm going to give you a yes. Mike Young, you're through to the next round. Yeah, Simon, you get the right answer. There is no one here. Yeah, Mike Young, you are not able to win. That is the reason why Dalsi is losing. Dalsi is the reason why Dalsi is losing. You can see the full version of the full version. You can click on the full version. Subscribers, Soma Tensol, thank you very much.